Okay, so here is the typical items you will find in a gold testing kit or pretty much everything you need to uh, start testing your own jewelry is going to be the stuff here uh, in front of you. So a couple of things, we have our testing assets, we have files, we have a slate tile, our uh, magnet, and a scale. This is pretty much everything you need. Uh, for This is kind of the deluxe kit that you can buy. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description if you want to purchase any of these testing items. I will have an Amazon affiliate link in the description. It helps me, gives me a couple of dollars or a couple of cents, I guess, for uh, any purchases made through those links. It really helps support the channel. And you can see how much I use the files, aka never. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of using files. I've never really needed one. Um, you could use a file, maybe if you have like a large serving tray or something like that and you weren't sure and you just really wanted to file into it, but I'm not a big fan of damaging pieces. If it's already damaged and broken and whatever, you know, feel free to use a file. Uh, but I've just, I've never needed to use a file, but you know, I like to have them just in case. Uh, the magnet I do use, you know, we can use this as a strong, uh, rare earth magnet and whatever, so we know not magnetic uh you know brass is not magnetic copper is not ma magnetic nickel is not going to be magnetic um a lot of non-magnetic materials but if it is magnetic you know it's not gold um so there's that piece and here's our scale which we showed in the last video if you want to purchase one of these i'll have a link below um definitely going to need a nice 500 gram scale and here is our ring that we're going to test on this stone I do have a preference of stones. There are some stones that I like more than others. Um, some of them just scratch easier and whatnot. So this is a stone that I like. And here are some acids. There is, you know, so this is the silver acid, silver testing acid solution. I never use this anymore. Um, this silver testing acid basically is like a kind of a reddish brown color already. And you drop it onto silver and if it turns red, it is um, silver but this can be a little like misleading and confusing and if you have 800 or 900 silver it gets a little weird so I always use the 18 karat acid uh, 18 karat acid with silver you scratch it and then you drop this on there it will turn white if it is silver and then it will uh, just disappear if it's not silver or do nothing um, and then uh, 14 karat, obviously, that's for a lot of 14 karat golds, the most common gold marking in the world. So we use a lot of the 14 karat. I've got 22 karat. I pretty much never use 22 karat. Um, and then there is platinum, which I also pretty much never use because anything with platinum is usually going to be marked. Anything that's 22 karat, mm, maybe you'll run into it, but very rarely. It's usually like Indian jewelry or something like that. Um, but let me grab... I also have this here um, that I actually found at an estate sale, but I, I don't really use this that much either, but sometimes I will. Um, this is a gold uh, needle kit where you can um, find out the exact carat. So I think this is from like, uh, I don't know, maybe 8 carat up to like 22 carat, these little gold. And this one's dirty, obviously, but you can... Uh, Scratch these to find out gold, and then this one is a uh, nine carat solid, nine carat piece. These run about uh, fifty or sixty dollars because they do have gold on them, and then like this piece is solid gold. Um, so these are a little expensive, but if you happen to see one or you know you you want to buy one, uh, they're not too bad. I, I haven't really needed to use this very much, but for nine carat gold, eight carat gold for. Uh, 20 karat gold or something like that uh, these can be useful so I do have the little um, testing needles as well and then we've got our 10 karat acid 10 karat acid is very weak um, and I tend to not use it very often um, it's just it can give very inconsistent results so usually I'll use 14 karat anyway because on 14 karat on 10 karat uh, will hold but disappear slowly and uh if it's not gold it'll just you know disappear right away or start smoking or something um other thing is is you typically want to be wearing gloves i don't have any right now but this stuff will stain your fingers it will stain your concrete it will stain uh just about everything and you can see here on the uh 22 karat acids very strong acid starting to 
eat away at the cap so eventually this whole cap will uh, dissolve from the acid inside so you want to replace your acids every you know it's about six months to a year I'm going on close to a year with this set so I will be replacing it soon uh, but we're gonna go ahead and make sure our tile is clean here and we're gonna test our um, 18 karat gold tarnished piece that the internet thinks has no possibility of being gold because gold does not tarnish um, and we're gonna go ahead and test this I'm just gonna pick a spot here you usually want to pick a, a really uh, uh, not very noticeable spot because it will leave a mark on the piece itself but we're gonna go ahead and scratch this make a nice deep scratch on the stone so you guys can see it clearly so there's your little gold mark. Um, one of the things to note when you are scratching it is gold, it should feel very soft. Um, that's usually a dead giveaway that it's not going to be gold is that when you start scratching it, it's very hard uh, or it just like pushes off, slides off like it's on tile where this um, comes off very easily because gold is soft. So, you know, the color, you want to look at the color. The color looks very good. It's not white, it's not uh, coppery, um, it definitely looks gold. And you can kind of tilt it up and get a good look at that. So we're going to drop uh, some 18 karat gold acid on here. Um, you want to make sure this is in a well ventilated area, make sure you have airflow. Um, I'm doing this outside so it's not uh, a big deal and we're just going to test this one little piece. But be very careful, this stuff's like super toxic. Um, Alright, so here's our uh, 18 karat gold acid right here and we're going to put it on to our mark just like that and we're going to let that sit there i'll let it sit all day if you want um no question in my mind that it's 18 karat gold the line is holding oh, you can see that very well our mark is not dissolving whatsoever. It is just staying there with our 18 karat acid on there. So that's going to confirm that this piece is indeed 18 karat gold, which I had no question about. But I just wanted to show you guys because it is very dark and tarnished. But it's still gold. So hopefully... That's showing up good. You can see it's not dissolving at all. Can do the whole line. Yeah, that's 18 karat gold. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.